Hi everybody, I'm John Graydon from JohnGraydon.com. I'm a certified NGH trainer of hypnotists working out of Clearwater Beach, Florida in the Tampa Bay area. What part of the brain is affected through hypnosis? I'm just going to give my disclaimer right now. I'm not a scientist. I've not done scientific studies on brain mapping, but I've studied a lot of those studies and I have some information I think you'll find interesting. First, let's talk just a little bit about the process of hypnosis. Hypnosis is often associated with sleep and we don't want to associate hypnosis with sleep. Associate hypnosis with trance. Trance. We're in trance all day long. Studies show that 88% of the day is spent in some type of automatic behavior pattern, some kind of trance, some kind of automatic thought pattern. So with hypnosis, what we're doing is we're bypassing the conscious mind, the analytical mind, and getting right to the subconscious mind. That's where all the power lies. So the definition of hypnosis is to bypass the conscious mind to speak directly to the subconscious mind, or as we say in hypnospeak, to bypass the critical factor, which is the filter between the two. When that happens, studies show that as opposed to going to sleep, that the brain wave activity for people in hypnosis, not under hypnosis, but in hypnosis, their mind is very active. Their mind is focused on what the hypnotist is saying. Their mind is focused on the suggestions from the hypnotist. If it's a, a situation where we're trying to relieve pain, then the part of the brain that deals with pain is activated, and often the hypnotist can help the client to shut that area down so they no longer feel pain. So when the deeper you get into trance, the more the mind is involved. So it, where you may think the deeper in hypnosis you go, the more it's like going to sleep, the truth is you become more focused, the brain wave pattern becomes more focused, and you continue to focus on the words of the hypnotist, and that's where the real work gets done. I'm John Graydon from johngraydon.com. Please contact me for more information. Thank you.